sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. Gilligan's Island is by far one of the funniest comedies of the 60s. It's just a shame that it only had three seasons, but there were enough laughs in that show to entertain us for a long time. So 25 years after the show debuted, why not make an NES game out of it? Oh yeah, look at that title screen. The intro isn't so bad either. These graphical recreations of the characters look good. The game was lacking one character though. The sexy ginger. Oh man, look at those titties. Do you know that I've uncovered plenty? Can't argue with that, can you? In the first part of the game, the castaways must build a hut. Of course, the game scriptwriters have to come up with something funny, so Gilligan says, a large umbrella. In the game, you get to play as a skipper. You expect to play as Gilligan, but you're the skipper. You can lose Gilligan easily, and if you can't find him within two minutes, you lose. Of course, Gilligan does nothing but slow you down, so it's pretty pointless to have him, but you need him anyways. Now, if you want to talk about worthless attacks, look no further here. Skipper's punch is useless. I'm just trying to punch some monkey ass and it doesn't work. But there's no point because the AI is really crappy. Now, here's something dumb. If it's a deserted island, how come there's a bridge there? Well, I guess not everything can be explained, like how boulders roll across a hole without falling in. And again, the dialogue sucks. You're constantly bombarded with the same lines over and over. If there were like 25 or 30 random lines repeating, that would be fine, but there are only a few pieces of dialogue, so it gets boring quick. And again, Skipper's Punch sucks. Like Fearless. Sorry, uh, just couldn't resist. Bottom line, I'm gonna give Gilligan's Island a 3 out of 10. A game with potential, but still no good. See you next time on Weepix Game Files.